So hello, my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a first look and a first impressions at Beautify, a Photoshop retouching panel. All right, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop. The image on screen uh, is gonna be the image that I'm gonna show you guys just kind of briefly what this panel, uh, Beautify, can actually do. Uh, before we get to that point though, I do wanna kinda go over to their website so you guys know what this panel is um, and where to find these guys. So uh, Beautify is basically a photo, it's a Photoshop uh, actions panel um, that you kind of, you purchase and you load into Photoshop um, and it functions as basically a step-by-step -step workflow for you to do certain retouching tasks. Uh, Beautify panel is the name of the company uh, we reached out to them just because uh, we were really, I mean, we loved uh, what what their the results that their panel were kind of capable. We saw kind of a, an ad on Instagram. I was like, whoa, that looks pretty cool. Like, I'd love to check that out. Um, so I did. I reached out to them, and they were generous enough to uh, kind of hook, uh, hook us up, which is awesome. I appreciate that, guys. Uh, hook us up to uh, give us an opportunity to uh, really just kind of do a review and possibly do a series on our channel um, kind of walking, walking you guys through how to use this panel, um, and walking you how to use this, this, um, this, this, uh, actions, um, this workflow. And so far, you know, my first impression is absolutely awesome, man. It has saved me some serious time and I'm literally using a mouse right now. You guys do not see a Wacom tablet. This is a mouse. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this retouching that I just did right there, uh, just with a mouse. Uh, so I'll just kind of scroll down the website a little bit so you guys have an idea of some of the results that it, this is capable of. Um, I, had, I didn't shoot any of these things or anything like that, but this is totally doable. Uh, granted, you know, this is a first look, first impression, so I don't fully know how to use this panel. I, I've literally just been experimenting for the last couple of hours to uh, essentially figure out, okay, what do certain things do? Because it's very comprehensive. But I will scroll through the website so you guys can, can see. Uh, no, it is, they are Italian, so uh, the website is in Italian. Uh, typically, Safari will automatically translate the web page or, or Google Chrome will translate the web page so you can actually see the text in your uh, home language. In my case, it would be English, but uh, this kind of walks you through some of the, uh, the panels. You got a skin and eyes, you've got some blur, uh, and you've got some uh, color. Uh, adjustments and you can also do sun flares, things of that nature. You can kind of see some of the before and afters here. I'll scroll through those really quickly. Uh, the results that they're showing right here is totally doable. Like 100%, this is totally doable. Um, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty comprehensive, and I will show you guys uh, what it's able to do. The makeup section uh, works as as described right there as well. Okay, so that is their website. So let's go back over into Adobe Photoshop and I'll show you guys the before and after. Uh, the image that you saw uh, originally was the after. This right here is the before. So I wanted to just see essentially in 10 minutes how far I could get using this application um, with the literal, the, literally the limited knowledge that I have when it comes to this application, how it works, uh, what are some of the best um, practices and uh, essentially just literally just putting on random things, just trying them and seeing how far I can get in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And uh, I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so you guys can, you, you can see what, what it's actually capable of, um, but this is what it's actually capable of in 10 minutes. And I did all of this with the mouse uh, just at lunch, uh, just using some of the adjustments that are available. Um, so I, I'm gonna just group all this stuff because I actually do like the way this edited. I'm gonna leave it as is, uh, but I will open up the panel right now so you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about here. So this is Beautify, right? This is the panel, how it loads. Um, it's pretty comprehensive, so yes, we will be kind of going, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna necessarily do a full walkthrough right now. I will be doing a whole series on how to uh, use this plugin as I learn and as I reach out to them to uh, see if they have any workflow and tutorials and like how are some of the people that they've partnered with and stuff like that, how they've used it, because I'm not 100% sure how to use every single uh, one of these things. But essentially what I did, uh, so this is what it looks like. You, we have the different sections. I went over here in AB retouch, which is, I guess, a different version of the retouching that they have. This is more of like a simplified version, and the retouching is more like frequency separation. It's it's just more, uh, it's more in depth, I suppose. Uh, you can see how much, just how much variation there is in this in this plugin. It's pretty, it's very comprehensive. So essentially, went over to A and B, and I was just like, okay, like let's just see what we can do. So first things first, plastic skin. Uh, essentially, what plastic skin does. 
uh, from what I've seen, it basically uh, is your blurring kind of uh, your blurring kind of layer to fix uneven. Um, I guess when it comes to textures in the skin, it's basically just fixing that. Um, all of the the sex subsections in here, they basically open up masks, so they have some kind of layer underneath. Uh, which is then has an effect. And then basically what you're doing, you're painting on the group using the paintbrush. So pressing our B tool opens up our paintbrush and then we literally just paint on. Uh, and so with this, I'm literally just using a mouse. I don't even, uh, there's really no need for me to use the Wacom tablet because it doesn't need to be super accurate. Um, and I'm just, just painting in the areas that I want it to smooth in. And I will show you guys that before and after here shortly. But you can just kind of hear me clicking away and then just holding down space and using the, uh, uh, the space bar key, which is gonna be our hand tool. And then just kind of painting all the areas that I want to uh, soften up basically. Um, yeah, just remove, soften up some of this texture. I'll kind of walk you guys through how I did this retouch real quick uh, using Beautify. It may just be a little bit too long. So I'm gonna try to keep this minute, this video to about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I don't wanna walk you guys through every little thing. It'd just be a little bit too long of a video, but uh, this is just, again, just a first impressions. So essentially, essentially what I'm doing, I'm just painting on the mask and that's what it's doing. And then if you think it's, if you think it's too much, what you do, drop the opacity of the mask or of the layer itself below it. So you can drop the opacity down here or here. Uh, depending on how it's, the mask is set up, will determine whether you need to, you need to drop it up here or down here. Uh, every single action that this this application has is a little bit different than the way it's set up. So uh, you have to kind of play around with one of those two things. But essentially, you just drop the opacity down until you get to a point that you think it's like not too plasticky or too over retouched. It looks uh, authentic. Uh, from there, I went into uh, white skin. Essentially, what white skin is doing, uh, from what I can tell, it's it's kind of a desaturation layer. So it, it kind of just desaturates the skin. Or actually, no, sorry, not not that one. That actually is the red remover. Uh, this is kind of functioning similar to dodge and burn. It's kind of like just doing dodging. Really, is kind of what it does. So it's gonna it's really gonna accentuate the highlights. It's not technically uh, burning because they have a whole subsection of doing that. But that's essentially what it does. It's gonna be your tool to kind of fix shadows. Again, I'm doing with this with this mouse, so um, I'm gonna just kind of go super ham and then drop it down. Um, all right, so uh, I'm gonna actually turn off my AC. My AC just turned on, so give me one second. I apologize about that, guys. Um, let me, we're gonna crop the video real quick. Let me actually turn off the AC. I'm gonna keep it recording. Uh, give me one second, let me turn off the heat real quick. I didn't realize I was still on. My bad. Damn, dude. Nah, dude. Okay, so let me let, let me pick up on on the thoughts that I was I was at before. Holy hell! It turned back on. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Come on, bro. Did I not go to off? Oh, press the wrong button. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Didn't go all the way down. Christ, man. Filling up my SD card and the freaking uh, recorder, yo. Okay, so cut where I said, oh, I, my, my AC went on and all that stuff. Uh, just cut out all that stuff, Victor. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of just go back to where I was. So basically right now, uh, I, I know I'm kind of going a little bit ham with this because I'm, I'm using the mouse and I'm not being very uh, subtle with the changes that I'm making. Uh, but what I'm gonna essentially do is just kind of drop down the, uh, the opacity on this layer right here. Um, just like I was telling you guys before, so. Uh, I'm just gonna drop that down. Essentially what I'm doing though is, is that I'm, I'm doing dodge and burning. Um, I'm fixing uneven, uh, I guess uneven light. I'm fixing bad light, but I'm also like increasing exposure as well. Uh, this is something I really, really like. This is like some pretty good stuff right here. This works really, really well. Um, this is not the normal way that I would do this, but like it's super, like this particular technique right here just really works really well. Um, so, and then if you think it's too much, you just go down here, drop the opacity down to, I don't know, like 30% or so. Uh, now my computer is going to go ham. So you guys will start hearing fans. Uh, this is going to be a lot of processing power to film this video as well as uh, run this particular application. There's a lot of layers. So uh, you guys will start to hear some fan noise here in the next uh, 30 seconds, <laughs> letting you know as a caveat. Uh, from there, I went over to Red Remover. 
uh, essentially what Red Remover is doing. And again, I'm gonna do full tutorials on this. I'm just kind of showing you guys just a little bit, um, just like three or four steps, just what I did uh, to get to that, that, uh, uh, that uh, A and B. I guess that uh, after that you guys saw. Red Remover is basically adding greens uh, to the photo uh, to neutralize red skin tones. That's how you end up getting that kind of like uh, super matte, like high-end beauty retouch kind of look. They're, they're just removing a lot of the red skin tones. So it just looks like really pale, but it's, uh, the colors are very, the colors that are there are very intentional. Uh, that's what basically Red Removers is doing. It's removing all the reds by adding greens, a green hue instead, which neutralizes the red. Uh, again, just adjust the opacity. If you guys think it's too much, you can, if I go all the way to 100%, you can see all of the green um, where my cursor is. That's where it's adding. It's adding that hue, uh, that hue saturation layer of green uh, to remove the, the reds. I'll drop that down to about 20%. And then as, as promised, my, my computer's fans are going ham. So uh, yes, here we are, <laughs> ham and cheese. I wanna show you guys the before and after though. So, and, and again, I'm using the mouse. I don't normally use the mouse to do this. This is insane, dude. This is crazy. I like don't even need to do anything. I can spend like five minutes <laughs> and get like a, you know, a high-end beauty render. Uh, retouch like that's pretty awesome. Like look at that dude. Come on. Seriously, dude Dude, come on, bro. Come on, dude. Like seriously get this thing. Come on, man. Like get out of here You know how long it'd take me to do this in Photoshop <laughs> manually uh, Dude, I would need to make my own actions to do this and I actually don't know how to I don't know how to make some of these things to be honest with you. I could I could replicate some of them, but um, Yeah, dude, it's it's pretty awesome. So uh, you know, I want to say definitely kudos to the uh, the developers of this. It's a well well thought out um, application. It's very very comprehensive. Um, you can add bokeh if you'd like um, to basically the background. Again, I'm going to do a full tutorial on this. I, I don't know. I, it doesn't really make sense to show you guys some of this stuff right now, but um, but yeah, you can add bokeh to blur out the background, um, which is that's what it did. And then you just paint on the areas. Uh, sorry, you paint black on the areas that you don't want the bokeh to happen, which is pretty awesome. So you can like add artificial bokeh or background defocusing to an image to blur out the background or skin. Um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty advanced. Uh, there's some really, really great functionality in this, this application. So um, again, that's just the before and after. Again, using the, just the, just the mouse that I have right here. Um, so I, I just wanna say, you know, absolutely kudos. Uh, we will be doing a full course, uh, maybe not, sorry, not course, but a uh, <laughs> a, um, a series here on YouTube. I don't know if we'll get to the point where we're doing a course on this, but um, we will be doing a series here on YouTube on how to use Beautify. Uh, it's an amazing application. It's definitely gonna just, just change my workflow, especially in Photoshop, because uh, it reduces a lot of the things I would otherwise go over to Affinity Photo because I want that speed, I want that performance, I want that, uh, I, I want to beat that tactile feel of seeing it on my iPad because I don't have the Wacom, like the big uh, LCD with the touch. I, I don't have one of those. Those things are like three or $4,000, they're very expensive. Um, so the iPad has to kind of suffice because I don't have that kind of money. Um, but this is this is gonna be something that changes my workflow because it removes a lot of things I would otherwise be doing in Affinity Photo. Uh, and quite honestly, I'm getting way better results in, in a fraction of the time, which is ultimately our goal here. We should definitely be trying to speed up our workflow. So uh, definitely check this tool out. Um, we will be leaving a link in the description below uh, where you guys can check it out and, and things of that nature um, if you'd like. And uh, yeah, check it out, man. It's, it's fantastic. D give it a swing. Um, uh, like I said, we will be doing a series and stuff like that. So uh, you'll, you'll see plenty more on this to come. Uh, but check it out, absolutely. Whenever you find tools like this, our, our goal is 100% to share with you guys because anything that makes your life or my life easier is, is definitely value added uh, because retouching and editing photos is not my favorite thing, nor is it the, the favorite thing for a lot of photographers, especially fa fashion and beauty uh, photographers. We don't really like retouching skin. It's just. Uh, it's just it just takes a long time and it's really irritating sometimes but um, so yeah this makes my life easier so I hope this added some value to you guys I hope you found this video useful 
Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'd love to have you as a part of the family, my friend. Um, my name is Devon Lennox, your host at Photo PX. Leave us a comment in the description below if you think I'm missing anything. Um, you have any questions for me as far as the application? What would you like to see me do um, in a, a, a series, a more in depth, uh, take a look at this and stuff like that? Um, let me know in the description down below, actually. Um, if you want me to reach out to Beautify uh, on your behalf and things of that nature to ask specific questions, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, Devon Lenz here, Photographer PX. We'll catch you in the next video, my friend. Peace out.